this is some of the equipment being stored in the newsroom, which is part of a trade show at Sands Expo and Convention Center called CTIA Super Mobility 2015. Super Mobility is a trade show that showcases the very latest trends and products available for mobile wireless communication. I'm not an expert in this subject, so I'm going to have to watch, listen, and learn. This is the CTIA Super Mobility Week registration area. Some 35,000 people are expected. And as you can see, not all of the folks are from the U.S. There is quite an international contingent as well. This is the California-based Skosh Company, and I stopped here because I'm looking at the Boom Bottle, which is a uh, speaker system that you can actually take into the pool, and these speakers will float. Each one would cost a round retail now of about $179. There are smaller versions. The young lady here told me that those would run starting about what? Start the, young, the smaller ones uh, that are, what, have, what did uh, you say? Uh, also floats, uh, that is like the 10 size uh, over there. Yeah, and uh, how much is a retail? 79 okay, on up. So, if you like your pool and you like your music together, you might try Boom Bottle. Do you have an iPad? You need an accessory called an orb loop. And this gentleman will show us what it can do. So this is a landscape, this way. Swing around for portrait. Turn to the back. Detaches. It's a case within a case. The hand shop in the back. The typing stand that comes out. <laughs> Here's the board loop. Is this this way? Is this this way? Wow. So what would the case and the loop, what would retail the case and the loop? Uh, this case right here is $39.95. Oh, not bad. And this right here is $29.95. Never thought of putting a mirror on my phone, but it's possible. This is iDeco, and they will I'm sorry. provide for, I think, $9.95, a mirror that sticks on the phone, and you can even clean the sticky stuff so that it's sticky once again. So we're in the accessories area. Here we have an ad for premium refurbished iPhones, Androids, and other smartphones. Encore seems to be the name. Couldn't help but stop here. Look at all these colorful cell phone covers that you design yourself. They actually will have a piece of plastic over. Here we go. This is a final product. You will buy a kit that has all the pieces you need to put together your design, children or adults, and they even have book covers here. Brand new company out of Atlanta, Georgia called Dots, the Dots Company. Valor has a brand called MyBat, and here are some of the cell phone covers, which I thought were quite attractive. Whoops, my shadow is getting in the way. The gentleman here said retail, they would sell for 10 to $20. Go ahead. The, the fingerprints on the screen and all the dirt is absorbed by a carbon pad. So there's different sizes. This size is for your iPad. Okay. It's a carbon pad. Whoops, there it is. Okay. And then it cleans the fingerprints off the screen. Ah, I, I saw the packaging and I couldn't tell what it was that 
how it works. What we do the display. So we have this size, it's for an iPad or a Kindle, that kind of touch screen. We have a bigger one that has brushes for a laptop, and then these are the ones that we use on your cell phone. So originally, if you, we're a camera cleaning company that cleans your camera lens. <laughs> But this started. Now they've used this carbon technology on more products to do iPads, cell phones, laptops, anything that you can touch we can clean with our different shaped pads. Thank you. You're welcome. Everything's getting cheaper. Android tablets as low as $25. Oops. That's all right. $25.99. That's low. So we are glad to see you here today. We know that your time is valuable, so we're gonna get started right now. So Manapop's number one reason for being in business is to create value for our clients. Now, this allows for our clients to grow market share and increase profitability. Now, this is how we do it. We are the best in class global system innovator and diversified service provider. This is a charging hub from Limitless Innovations, Inc and it looks as if you can charge lots of different devices and eliminate those long cables. This strange little device by Rennie is actually something that you use as a home phone alternative. Let's say you don't have a landline. You use your cell phone for everything. But this little device, I assume, will ring even if your smartphone is on silent. Anyway, uh, new things are coming every minute. One of these cell phone carriers. We Let's hope look so. at the video. Because they all work with Ready. The only free home phone option that allows you to use your cell phone as your home phone, so you will never miss another call. You can't get rid of your cell phone, right? So make it your only phone bill. And don't pay a penny more for anything else. All other phones have hidden taxes and monthly fees. Rini doesn't use any extra equipment to work. Just Rini and your cell phone. That's all. Nothing else. Rini, the smart home phone. This is an area of the show called Startup Alley, and I stopped to talk to this gentleman because I like the name of his company, Bubble. And what he's doing, and it will be available soon, is um, providing software to content creators so that viewers can actually take a clip of the content, send it to someone else, and that someone else, if they look at the clip and click on it, they will go back to the original document. So, yes, it's nice that you can send a clip to somebody, but more importantly, he says, is that the content creator has another way to drive traffic to his site. And it's called Bubble. There's nobody manning this booth at the moment, but it is talking about cable, and I just happened to look down here. I hope you can see all the cables within a cable that are here. This is the SAF booth, and uh, we're talking business here, and I stopped because there's a mandarin orange bowl or two for customers. Different than offering chocolate or mints, mandarin oranges. Want to sponsor something at the show? How about sponsoring a lounge? This is Toric which is to be used for aerial photography. The office has moved to Las Vegas. Here's a good idea. Untangle your life. Protective case with retractable headphones. Hi, I came here to see the Hercules holder. Quick and easy installation. One-handed, goes right into your cup holder in the car. If you want to adjust it, just twist it. And it, and it holds your cell phone in a place where you can get at it, right? Quick and easy. All I have to do is go sideways here. I can do GPS. I can do regular cellular features. I can still charge my, cord, my charging cords here. I can put my earbuds in, and I'm ready to go. And you said retail. It's how much? $14.99. $14.99. Thank you very much. And it's portable. And it's portable from car to car. This is called a scooter speaker, supersonic, in 
business 35 years and from Southern California. Also, we'll have fountains that dance to your music. It's not cellular, it's cell allure. These gals are called sign dolls, and um, I suppose you just plug them in. They never get tired. They don't need overtime pay or benefits, and they do attract attention, as you can see. It's about the mounts, it's about the connectivity in the vehicle, the power, the backup. The vehicle is a hot spot itself. And so we see again, this is today's ecosystem over here on the right hand side. What we're seeing on the left hand side is where we see it evolving and eventually evolving into intelligent transportation systems, which you may be hearing about, where the vehicles are interacting with stoplights, toll booths, weight sensors, compliance sensors, state, you know, state line sensors. So you know, we see again the vehicle being a part of that ecosystem that is now interacting with an entire environment around it. My customers are mobile operators like Verizon, AT&T, Telefonic, etc. And really what's happened to the mobile operators in the past uh, seven years is that voice has really been overtaken by data. And if you look at data itself, it's composed of a variety of different applications. Video, browsing, social media, software updates, etc. And this transition from a voice network to a data network uh, and the hyper growth of data demand by consumers on mobile networks is creating a tremendous amount of uh, pain for the mobile operators. So we all know that the millennial generation is already driving a tremendous amount of growth in OTT video consumption. And not only do they expect content to be available anywhere, anytime, and on any network, of course, they're also using multiple devices at the same time. 60% of America and 60% of the world has no cellular coverage. Even the best built, best maintained networks are often congested. And finally, there's times that man-made or natural disasters take the network down. So we wanted to be able to use our smart devices but not face this problem. So we said, what if we could just make the Android or iOS-based devices communicate directly with each other? And that's what we've done to solve the problem. So we built the world's best and first decentralized communications platform. So, any, again, any iOS or any Android device can communicate with each other, whether it be voice, whether it be text messaging, geolocation, all without touching its network infrastructure. The problem we're trying to solve is that the legacy Wi-Fi networks that have been sold to the enterprise, either directly uh, from the big vendors or through service providers, are way too complicated, too costly, and very difficult and time-consuming to set up. They're also uh, unreliable. Uh, we've developed the first truly scalable cloud-based Wi-Fi solution that's got uh, top-notch security uh, as well as incredible scalability, way beyond anything that's been built thus far. So the Yippie app started when my wife Angela first encountered the $600 dilemma of having to hand over her smartphone to our then three-and-a-half-year-old daughter so she could connect with grandma. It's a dilemma because doing so, handing that phone over, presents all manner of risks, right? You could, she can drop it, she's gonna get who knows what kind of Uber all over the screen. She might end up calling somebody that she's not supposed to call. So there's, there's risk in there. So Angela envisioned a device that, that our daughter could carry with her that she could call her own. So we created Pipsqueak. This is the world's first Bluetooth phone designed just for kids. It connects to a phone, to your smartphone, just like a Bluetooth headset does, so your child can talk on Pitt Street to grandma or daddy while he's traveling, but the smartphone stays safely out of harm's way. This is Dr. Rudolph King, and he is here with new software that I think makes a lot of sense. It is software that you put on your phone, and with one button, you can notify anyone that you select that you are in need of help. Dr. King mentioned that many of the current systems, alarm systems, work very well for people who are confined at home. But his own father was an outdoorsman and spent many hours outside rather than inside. He wanted his father to be able to contact him that he needed help even while the father was outside. People who attend this show, they are going to be able to enroll in this system 
and it will be free for life. Otherwise, there will be later subscriptions to pay for, etc. Now, the name of the system is? Swift Alarm. Swift Alarm. And he was demonstrating it there. Frankly, I'm going to sign up. Just had a wonderful conversation with one of the exhibitors here, and it's making me late for my ride. So I'm leaving the trade show. The wireless folks are sticking around, and I'm going home. Had a great time here. And I will be back.